Kashmir, burning of leaves is a common phenomenon in the autumn, disturbing the cycle of life. A poem by Faz Ahmed Faz, one of the great poets of the Asian subcontinent, paraphrases this unpleasant but inevitable event. Naomi Lazard has translated it from Urdu with every nuance, image and metaphor. When autumn came. This is the way that autumn came to the trees. It stripped them down to the skin, left their ebony bodies naked. It shook out their hearts. The yellow leaves scattered them over the ground. Anyone could trample them out of shape, undisturbed by a single moan of protest. As soon as the leaves touch the earth, these are collected and burned in heaps and piles, mostly to be used as coal to heat the traditional Kashmiri kangri. Not only the china, but leaves in different orchards of Kashmir face the same fate. The process is against nature and hazardous to humans itself, as it adds to pollution. Burning of charcoal in autumn season is not only a nuisance to the locals, to the inhabitants of the area, but to the visitors as well as to the other organisms of life. Nasim Bak, which is an urban delight in the autumn, turns into a smoky nightmare in the winters. Leaf burning is a controversial environmental issue and its certain hazards can range from hazards of smoke to the human health, smog to the commuters and greenhouse gases to the environment. When leaves are burned in open air, they produce smoke and release toxic gases. During this burning process, number of particulate matters, smoke, pollutants, they add into the air and has a hazardous effect on human health as well as surroundings. Direct irritation of the linings of respiratory system and important conditions arising out of this disastrous practice are allergic rhinitis, cold, chest infections and weakening of the lining of respiratory mucosa and the linings of the eyes. The smoke contains vapors and solid compounds suspended in the air called particulate matter. The particulate matter enters the lungs and may remain there for months or even years. It increases the chances of respiratory infection, reduces lung capacity and triggers asthmatic attacks. The people exposed to this smoke are very prone to other infections of respiratory tract and eyes and skin infections too. Therefore, the practice of burning of leaves is a multifaceted health problem in the society. Besides being an irritant, leaf smoke contains many hazardous chemicals, including carbon monoxide and benzoapyrene. It impacts the health of the humans and other living creatures, it is adding to the global warming also. Because of the high emissions of black carbon and this particulate matter, in Kashmir Valley, in the vicinity of the Kashmir Valley, we have large number of glaciers there. This suit, this black carbon gets deposited on, on these glaciers. As a result, the albedo decreases and then that results into excessive enhancing melting of the, these glaciers and that could have a large implications for many of the sectors that are dependent on water in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. According to the US Environmental Protection Agency studies, sometimes concentrations of air pollutants resulting from leaf burning in some areas cause much higher levels of air pollution than all other forms of air pollution combined, such as factories, vehicles, etc. That's why there is one alternative that we can make 
a compost of these leaves, fallen leaves, which is uh, both from environment point of view and economic point of view much more beneficial. There is an immediate need to create awareness and stop burning of leaves wherever possible. Leaves can be left to their fate or there are ways by which leaves can be disposed of naturally. The first being mulching. Leaves make excellent mulch beneath trees, shrubs and other landscape plantings. Large trees growing in the forest naturally have a layer of decayed leaves and leaf mold beneath them. This organic layer is the home of many beneficial organisms such as earthworms and mycorrhizae. When native forest areas are disturbed and developed, the health and vigor of the remaining trees usually decline. And the other is turning leaves into compost. environmentally friendly ways to dispose of leaves are available, so it's just the choice that we want to make. If we continue to burn the leaves, ignoring the health hazards, these life-sustaining miniature factories of nature may become the poison that will consume us all. Today may be still timely to act, tomorrow will be too late.